one thing that I learned, um, and I learned this after I got out of college, it actually helped me a lot. Because I, when I was in college, I was playing mostly first base. Out of college, I went back to the middle infield. And this thought that one of the, the coaches I played for gave to me, and I want y'all to watch Jax real quick. And I want y'all to watch his hands on the transfers to where they go. So Jax, go ahead and go. Like, chop your feet. I'm going to give you the long hop. Just watch his hands. See where they go? How high they are? So one thing that I learned that really helped me was when you're moving through the ball, like if I'm at shortstop and I'm moving to first, when I field it and then come up, I want all of this movement to be in sync. I'm going forward as my hands are going back. Forward as my hands are going back, now I'm ready to throw. Versus if I catch and I stop and now I'm trying to move and they get my hands going again, it breaks up your rhythm. Does that make sense? So he's smooth with catching and going up all at the same time, okay? Some of you guys caught, belly button kind of to the side. Now you're not in a position to throw because your feet aren't in sync. So this is helping your arm and the glove and the feet all be in sync at the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah? Maybe? But y'all are quiet. It makes sense. Yeah? It makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay.